Welcome back sports fans. We have more early national signing day coverage for you tonight. The class of 2020 for Peach County football had a record of 47 and 9 over their four year career with two state runner up finishes and four region championships. And tonight they begin to honor the Trojans with early signing day. Six seniors took to the big stage to announce their college plans. First up, the tag team of running back Noah Whittington. He's not gone. He's gone, gone. The soon to be Hilltopper and defensive back Talik Allen are both added to Western Kentucky University. Hard hitting Colby Towns is taking his talents to Alcorn State to suit up for the Braves out of the swack. Love the purple tie, young fella, and his enthusiasm for the game. Former WMAZ Athlete of the Week, Dalen Smith, will play for head coach Jeff Munkin at Army West Point. Can't wait to see him in the Army Navy game next season. And Justin Harris is trading in the black and gold for the blue and white, soaring to Statesboro to play for the Eagles and Georgia Southern. It's time to GATA. And Sergio Allen, the Under Armour All-American, remains true to his commit and stays loyal to Clemson, where he will play linebacker for head coach Dabo Sweeney in the ACC. Another great class for coach Chad Campbell and the Black Hats. Hey, hey you, get out the Trojans way. All right. Now the West Side Seminoles had a team loaded with D1 prospects as well, but this tag team, and they are your cream of the crop. All region wide receiver Jalen Barton holds every receiving record with the program. He plans to run routes with the ACC with Georgia Tech Conference mate, University of Pittsburgh, and his teammate Jalen Parker. He is an all region linebacker who led the Knowles in tackles. The senior decided to also join the Atlantic Coastal Conference by way of North Carolina State. And double A state champion Romello Height out of Dublin helped terrorize opponents on the football field during his career, guiding his Irish to a 14 and one record and the first GHSA state championship for the green and gold since 2006. Height, a four star recruit with more than 30 D1 offers, originally verbally committed to the U down in Miami over the summer, but he reopened his recruitment process and decided to flip his commit officially with head coach Gus Malzahn and Auburn. Romello will early enroll in January. He is now screaming War Eagle. And Jones County had a record-breaking performance in 2019 as well, thanks to the hard work of this duo, beginning with one of the big uglies, Connor Griffin, the 6'2", 290-pound offensive lineman, literally paved the way for a 1,000-yard rusher and 2,000 yards plus passer on a team that lost in the semifinals to Buford. He is headed to Middle Tennessee State University and one of the most dominating skill players in Central Georgia, John Tavis Robertson had his pick of schools, but settled on deciding between Indiana, Duke, and at last ditch effort from UGA. Wide receiver was electrifying on football Friday night, scoring at will and creating nightmares for defenses in the process. Instead of staying home in the Peach State, Robertson says he will continue his career at Duke, and here he is answering why. I chose Duke because like Duke, Duke been been me since day one, since I was like I was in the tenth grade. I've been inter interacting with Duke for a long time. Uh, I told him like Georgia came too late in the program. I told him like it was too late for that, but like I, I connected well with all the coaches, special coach Taylor, and Coach Cutcliffe. We became close on my own OVI when, when I went up there last Sunday. I was, I was just happy right now, man. Go, I mean Duke game, I'm ready. Now, if you missed out on the reports earlier, no need to worry. We got you scattered, covered, and chunked. You can head over to 13WMAZ.com to catch up on our coverage from earlier this morning and this afternoon all across Central Georgia. We'll be right back after the break. Please stay with us. <laughs> 